Hey, hey everyone, and a welcome in or a welcome back. It's a monkey mar. Before we get into today's uh, video, please make sure you click that subscribe button, the bell for notifications, and of course, the like. This is a story out of Sydney, Australia. I was like, oh, do I touch on it? Do I not? I found it very interesting, so I thought, you know what, I am going to make a video. So let's get into the story about Melissa Caddick, a dramatic twist and missing millionaire businesswoman case as cops investigate whether she staged her own disappearance after financial police raided her $7 million mansion. Businesswoman Melissa Caddick, 49, has been missing since November 13th, 2020. The mother of one is believed to have left her home at about 5.30 a.m. to go running. Miss Caddick's son heard her walk out the front door. She has not been seen since. Police have searched the clifftops near her home at Dover Heights in East Sydney. They are investigating if she has deliberately disappeared over financial issues. Her husband, Anthony Caddick, made public appeal to help find her last week. So I don't know why the news article has his name with a K. Her name is with a C, and she goes by Miss M.S. and not Mrs. M.R.S. Is it different in Australia? I don't know. So on November 25th, this was updated, which is today. The possibility a missing businesswoman has faked her own a disappearance and one of a number of theories being investigated by police looking into her sudden vanishing. Kind of sounds like Gone Girl, that movie. Melissa Caddick, 49, is believed to have left her home at Dover Heights in Sydney's Ritzy East about 5.30 a.m. on Thursday, November 13th, 2020, without her phone or purse. She has not been seen since. Mrs. Caddick's husband, Anthony Coletti, so now he's Anthony Coletti, and he's 38, so he's 10 years younger than her, last week appealed to the public for help to find his wife, whose disappearance had stumped even seasoned police. Some adamant she would not leave her family without a trace, while others told Daily Mail Australia her recent court troubles could have been a reason to disappear. Mrs. Caddick had her home raided by Australian Federal Police a day before she went missing over allegedly dodgy business dealings. Police are investigating whether missing Dover Heights businesswoman Melissa Caddick could have staged her own disappearance. Mrs. Caddick is believed to have left her Dover Heights mansion at about 5.30 a.m. on Thursday, November 13th to go for a run. Her husband, Anthony Coletti, was asleep at the time. She has not been seen since and police admit they are at a loss to explain what might have happened to her. Mrs. Caddick in both photos with husband Anthony Coletti, which is above, is believed to have left her Dover Heights mansion at about 5.30 a.m. on Thursday, November 13th to go for a run. She has not been seen since and a police admit they are lost to explain what might have happened to her. CCTV cameras above the garage of the home should have captured Mrs. Caddick leaving but they were not working at the time. Isn't that a coincidence? Adding to the problems facing police is that the CCTV cameras outside her mansion were not working on the day she went missing. Security cameras on neighboring homes are being searched, as have the fierce cliff faces along Sydney's eastern coastline. But still, there has been absolutely no trace of Mrs. Caddick. The Daily Telegraph reports one police officer said maybe she just does not want to be found. Mrs. Caddick's close friend, Lucia Del Prete, told Daily Mail Australia she was at a loss to explain what had happened. Miss Del Prete said while the search for answers continues, she finds it highly unlikely her friend would have disappeared without a word. 
wealthy businesswoman vanishes from her seven million dollar cliff top. She's not that type of person who would do something so random. Miss Adele Pratt said, Melissa and I are really good friends. It's a shock. We are all shocked. It is just so sad for her family. I've interviewed Mrs. Caddick's husband, her son, and family members as part of their investigation. This is a very extensive investigation. It's been two weeks now, and we are very worried for her welfare. Bondi Police Crime Manager Stuart Thompson told the Daily Telegraph. We are not ruling anything out at this stage and are working on several theories. Finding her is the priority. The family have been very cooperative and are putting on a brave face. CCTV cameras at the 7 million mansion where Miss Caddick lived with Mr. Colodi and her son were not working the morning she went missing. Mr. Coletti made a public appeal for information on Friday alongside her brother, Adam Grimley. Mr. Coletti said his wife's teenage son heard her walk out the front door at about 5.30 a.m., but they had later discovered she had left behind her phone, keys, and wallet, which was out of the ordinary. An emotionally drained Mr. Coletti takes a moment after answering questions during Friday's public appeal for help. At the public appeal last Friday, Mr. Coletti said he had last seen his wife as they went to bed on Wednesday night. Everything had been as normal as the next morning she got up to go for her usual run at about 5.30 a.m. Mr. Coletti said she was asleep at the time, but Miss Caddick's teenage son is understood to have been in the home's gym at the time and heard the front door shut as she left. A pair later found her belongings were still at home and began to sense something was wrong. She always took her phone. In this case, it is the only time I've known her that she did not take her phone with her, Mr. Coletti said. Despite admitting things appeared out of the ordinary, Mr. Coletti did not report his wife missing until the next day. Red flags, red flags, and more red flags. What is this starting to sound like? A day before she went missing, Miss Caddick had her home raided by Australian Federal Police over an investigation into her business dealings. Mr. Coletti has been interviewed by police on several occasions as part of their routine investigations into Mrs. Caddick's disappearance. That report was made after Ms. Caddick failed to attend a federal court hearing over her alleged business dealings. Fearing she would not show up, Mr. Coletti attended court on her behalf and was told by court staff he should make a police report. The timeline of Melissa Caddick's disappearing. Wednesday, November 11, 2020, Australian Federal Police Department performed a daytime raid on Ms. Caddick's home at Dover Heights over her business. Midnight, Miss Caddick's husband, Anthony Coletti, goes to sleep next to his wife the last time he sees her. Mm. Thursday, November 12th, Miss Caddick gets up at 5.30, the time of her usual run. Her teenage son is in the home gym at the time and hears the front door shut but does not see her. Friday, November 13th, Miss Caddick does not return home and is worried Mr. Coletti attends the federal court where his wife is due to hand in her passport as part of the AFP investigation into her. After attending court in her absence, Mr. Coletti is encouraged to report her missing and police attend their home to take a statement. Tuesday, November 17th, NSW police reveal for the first time that Miss Caddick is missing. Friday, November 20th, Mr. Coletti and Miss Caddick's brother, Adam Grimley, make a public appeal for help and search for her. I was advised to contact police within 24 hours, and I did. Her brother, Adam Grimley, urged the communities frequented by Miss Caddick to help and search for her whereabouts. Melissa, please let us know that you are safe and sound. We love you, her, immer her emotional older brother said. To our communities, we need you. To our communities, we need your help to bring Melissa, my little sister, home. She is a loving person, a loving mother, and a great sister. It is very out of character. 
Neighbors said plain code police removed laptops, files, and documents in bags of evidence from her home last Wednesday. That same day, Ms. Caddick was hit with a stringent court order banning her from leaving the country, ordering her not to sell any property, and demanding she not transfer money offshore from her 17 bank accounts. ACIS took Ms. Caddick to the federal court and successfully had her banned from selling, mortgaging, or disposing of her assets. She was ordered not to send her own money, contained in a lengthy list of 17 different bank accounts offshore. Justice Jane Jagged also ordered to she surrender the name, physical address, email address, and phone number of each person who currently has funds deposited with her company for investment purposes, plus the location and amount of the money. Ms. Caddick was warned that if she disobeyed the order, she would be liable to imprisonment. Secretation of property or other punishment. An ACIC spokeswoman declined to explain why Ms. Caddick was under investigation as the agency's probe is ongoing. Neighbors said they were stunned by last week's raid, telling Daily Mail Australia she and her husband kept to themselves. Residents on the Wallalonga Road block had set up WhatsApp group to check in on each other in the wake of the COVID-19 outbreak. The missing woman and her husband were the only household not involved, the neighbors claimed. We know pretty much the whole block except them. It's very weird. You'd see him, Mr. Coletti, a DJ, out the front occasionally, but most of the time you only hear him revving his car or the music blaring. Neighbors told Daily Mail Australia they saw police attend the property twice last week first undercover agents believed to be afp executed a search warrant on wednesday november 11th before nsw police returned that friday to investigate miss caddick's disappearance so in addition to searching for cctv footage from the walongra road area police have searched along the cliffs at dover heights and the gap a known suicide spot a neighbor told daily mail australia the couple seemed very happy she seemed to be a successful businesswoman and she had a son who lived with her and with the dad it's just odd we are all a bit shocked that something like that could happen around here the eagle-eyed local took a photo when nsw police officers showed up at the house on friday just three days after the home was raided this time they were there to try and find a missing person mrs caddick is described as caucasian 165 centimeters tall slim build and has long brown hair she was last seen wearing a black singlet top and leggings and silver Nike sneakers. Anyone with information about Miss Caddick's whereabouts is urged to contact NSW Police. Her ACIC court case returns to the federal court for hearing on November 27th, 2020. So that is actually tomorrow. For more, for 24 hour crisis support, in Australia, contact a lifeline on 13 11 14. Yeah, this is an interesting case. When I first saw the pictures of her and her husband, I kind of thought, he kind of looks a little bit young. And I don't know. I guess we are going to have to see what plays out with this one, but it definitely has piqued my interest, so I am going to stay on top of it. All right, guys, with that, it is a wrap. I want to thank you all for coming in, and thank you for uh, watching. A uh, Please like or dislike, whichever you prefer, and a uh, subscribe. Everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world, and stay uh, vigilant. I am out.